Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Inward Coast Digitizing here in Pensacola, Florida. I do home movies, digitize all home movies, films, stuff like that. Got a new store set up I want to show you guys on YouTube here. Did some renovations over the holidays. Kind of made myself a little bit of a front area here. Uh, it's kind of small, but I think it, it does what it needs to do. You can walk in, you can put your uh, tapes here, and we can talk about them real quick. Uh, I might put something in that corner, I don't know. But when you walk in now, I've got everything up against this one wall here. I've got my film set up over here. That's going to change, but that's the way I have it set up now. It's getting kind of dark out. I really just wanted to get to where I had more room to expand in the building, but also I wanted to be able to work kind of with the window right here. So I got some tint put on the window. So during the day, you can't really see in here at all. At night you can because that's just how tint works, but you know, if there's light on the in the inside and there's none on the outside, then, you know, it's hard to see outside versus inside, whatever, you know. During the day, though, when I'm here working, I can work right next to the window and no one can see in the store, so that's kind of nice. Start my setup here. Got kind of a personal TV there I can watch during the day. You know, just have a movie on, do my film on the right side here. Everything's kind of in this area now. See all my players. Everything's hooked up nice and neat and organized. The only thing I have to do is run the chargers for the laptops, which should have enough room on these uh, power strips here. I actually ran my, I had a few VCRs that were set up pretty easily to use line in one and two. So I've got these cameras set up on line two, and then I've got this uh, VCR up top on line one. So I can, I can shuffle through those. One, two, three, four, five are set up that way to easy, easy switch over from different formats. And then on these, these VCRs without the remote, unfortunately I couldn't do that. So I just have some RCA cables hanging down so I can hook up to those. We've got some tester VCRs here and some CRTs just so I can give uh, the best look at the tapes. If they're not working on my capture card and I put them in here, I know that it's the capture card and not the uh, tape. And then maybe I can use a time baser corrector VCR to fix those issues. And this is just a DVD player for when I burn DVDs, I can test them. Over here is kind of the workbench. Well, that's really my workbench right here. Tape repairs, all that stuff. This is kind of just a rewinding station. Um, and also kind of a cleaning station for cleaning uh, mold and stuff bunch of storage here. I don't really have a lot of storage in this building Unfortunately, all I have is the bathroom and it's not very large. So This is kind of what I've got for storage right now. I got a bunch of junk in here I got some old CRTs down there the customer gave me um, If anybody wants those let me know in the comments. I'll give them to you. I don't really want them This one doesn't have RCA cables. This one does and It's a DVD player. And it's a kind of a Disney princess CRT, I don't have to use for it, but it comes with the remote. I uh, got some Betamax players out here that need to be repaired. A couple uh, damaged VCRs. DVD players work, that VCR works. The red sticker means it's doesn't work anymore and it's just a parts machine. And then the yellow means ha caution, but it does still work. All the greens are in great shape, work well. I might uh, start using those here down the road whenever I expand more. Uh, this is just kind of more slop over here. I don't really have like a lot of storage. You know, some working VCRs. I'll probably have these for sale if a customer needs one. I'm gonna sell them that. And then my sound projector for that little bit of eight millimeter sound that comes through. Got some posters on the wall just to spruce it up. I had them laying around. Got a little break area here for me. And I can sit here and I can look over my shoulder and see everything going on this is kind of the order rack here i don't really have a lot of work right now because i closed over the holidays but i'm hoping for more to come in i've got a i memories uh order here that someone brought in that i'm going to redo for them and this is those tapes here so we'll get that one done first off when the store opens back up tomorrow but yeah i just have to put these, these chargers up this is what i got going on i also put up a dartboard so i could uh you know, when I take breaks, you really do need to take breaks every once in a while just to keep your sanity back here. Got myself a little kitchen here, microwave, coffee pot. Um, all my digital eight and high eight cameras are down here. Got some PAL cameras, got some 
backwards compatible digital eights and some regular digital eights, some high eights and eight millimeter. These are all backwards compatible setups here. You know, just uh, just kind of dialing it in, guys. I just wanted to say, hey, happy new year. Just kind of dialing it all in, guys. Uh, I still, I'm starting to feel like this space was a little too small for me, but if I do need to expand, I can always lose my couch and everything. Um, if I can figure out a way to store this a little better, maybe if I uh, get some more of these shelves and I run them all the way around right here, then I can expand and then the top of the shelves will be my storage. Uh, that's kind of the plan in the future. I think a different table in the center would be nice, like a big, like a tall square table would work better for my needs, but this is what I've got for right now. Um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Jones Soda. And I've always been a huge fan of Jones Soda because always, so I collect kind of the Jones Soda stuff. I got some, a lot of stuff at the house. I might bring one of the light boxes over here eventually. The store will be opening back up tomorrow. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in any of the CRT stuff um, and kind of what you want to see coming up in the future on this channel. But mostly I'm just here to let people know that there's other companies out there other than those big box companies um, that you can trust. And there's a lot of us out there locally that if you need someone who can, who can do your tapes for you, your home movies, help you uh, declutter and archive those things, you know, look for a local, look for a small business. They're gonna do the best work and they're not gonna rip you off. All right guys, thanks so much. Sean here, EmeraldCoastDigitizing.com. See you in the next video.